I want to speak on a topic. Maybe you'll be a little surprised that I'll be speaking on it. It's about health in your body. And you might say like, well, this is not spiritual. We are on Sunday morning. We are at church. We can't be talking about health because this is not spiritual. Well, let me tell you this. In the Bible, Jesus said that your body is not your own. That your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I remember when John Chi was here for the conference, um, he was staying in our house. And he was staying in the house. We did not give him the leftover room, the extra room or the office. We give him the best. We give him where he had his own room, his own bathroom, his own living room, his own, his own everything. We give him the best because he was John Chi. But Jesus said that Holy Spirit doesn't have a body because his body is your body. Therefore, you have to realize and have a revelation that my body is a temple where the Holy Spirit dwells. And you have... And you have to give him the best of yourself. And I just wanted today just a basic tips. How do you take care of your body? How to take care of your body that you will have the energy. That you will not have to drink energy drinks. That you don't have to put in all that caffeine in your body that dehydrates your body. So number one is make it priority. And you're like, I don't have a time. Everybody has 24 hours a day. If Obama president can exercise, so can you. You just have to make time. And if it's important to you, you will find time for it. And you have to make a priority that my body, I have to take care of my body. Nobody is going to take care of your body for you. Nobody is going to eat the vegetables or the nutrition food that you need to eat except you. Nobody is going to drink water for you. You have to do that for yourself. And you have to make a priority. My body, I need this body to be healthy. To live out the plan that God has for my life in healthy condition. Amen. Um, second of all, sleep at least seven hours a day. Um, sleep is very important. Because when you don't get enough sleep, you wake up tired. That means you can't be focused. You can't perform the way you should perform your job duties or your business ideas or whatever. The ideas, you know, for your brain to rest. Um, and so sleep is very important. At least seven hours a day. Um, my dad told me this long time story that struck with me till this day. There was two men that were chopping the wood. And one guy, he would stop and he would sharpen his axe and keep chopping the wood. And the other one, he would never stop. He would never take breaks. And he kept chopping because he thinks like without breaks, I'm going to chop more wood in the forest. But guess who ended up chopping more wood? The one who took breaks, who sharpened his brain, who sharpened his axe because he was focused because his axe was not dull. And this is why we need importance because you might think like, well, I need to get so many things done. You don't get things done when you're tired. You miss things. You, your, your brain is not in focus. Your brain needs rest. And so it is important. And also 35% you're more likely to gain weight if you don't sleep at least hours a day. Because your body needs rest. It's like a machine that's working, that's absorbing all these things that come in every single day at you. You need rest. Number three, drink water. Our body is at least 70%, some people say more, of water. We have to drink water. Not white rockets that equal up to two days of your meal. Um, not caffeine, but water. We are not, our body is not made out of caffeine. We don't need that sugar. And so we need to drink water. There's so many, a lot of times you're not even hungry, you're just thirsty. And we run to, you know, those shakes and we run to those things that our body does not need. So let's start drinking water, guys. Fourth, um, eat right. I know it's going to get a little sensitive. You are what you eat, period. Our body is not, God said, our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. It is not a junkyard. It is not a garbage can. We cannot be eating junk food. Because when you eat junk food, junk food doesn't have nutrition. So you're always craving and to eat and to eat. But when you have a proper nutrition, when you wake up early and you have breakfast, you are full. You are fed and your body has the energy and has the nutrition to go on the whole day. A car, a car is only going to drive so far when you're going to put water in it. You have to put a proper fuel into your car to able to take it to places. You can't fuel your body with food that's on the shelves. Just because it's in the Walmart shelf, it doesn't mean it needs to be in your body. There is nutritional food that you need to intake. It might not taste good, but your body will appreciate it. When you, and a lot of people are like, well, it's expensive to buy organic or it's expensive. Grow a garden. Um, but when you paying um, for, you know, buying your dollar menu food or stuff like that, and you think you're saving money, you have to realize later on in your life, you'll be paying those money to doctor's office to fix with a cheap food damage your body. So invest your money into food because health is expensive. Fifth one is exercise. 
this is not, and you like, exercise is not for me. I don't like it. Um, I'm not calling you out to be a bodybuilder. Um, if you have a calling on your life, then God bless you. But exercise is a simple exercise. Take a run around your block. Um, park your car farther on the parking lot so you can walk to work. Um, exercise, and you might say, I don't have time. You have time. You have time because we all have 24 hours. And you, if you make a priority, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at nighttime, and your lunchtime, you, nobody eats for an hour, okay? You have an hour lunch or 30 minutes. Nobody sits and eats there for an hour. You have to take a walk around your workplace. And so just, I just want to encourage you guys that health is important. Jesus heals, but it is your responsibility to keep the healing. I had a kidney stones and God healed me of kidney stones. And it was my responsibility to keep my body healthy so the sickness doesn't come back because of the habits that I live in. And so, you know, like you might be like, well, Jesus dies for all of healing. But he also said that your body is not, is not a trash can. Your body is a temple. And we have seen what temples look like. They are beautiful. They are taken care of. There is nothing out of order. Everything in its place. And I just want to encourage that. Let's take care of our bodies. Let's be a church that's healthy, that is full of energy, that not when you get to your 40s or your 50s and you have no energy to get up in the morning. Amen.